Hey guys, Mike V from Reliable Automotive Equipment here. Today we're going to be talking about the Jag Land Rover Express 800 Rivet Gun. Make sure when you've got your hands in here and it's plugged in, this little lever here is flipped up. Usual protocol on this when you are taking off or putting on the head assembly, this valve always needs to be in the up position. This is basically a on-off valve, like similar to a Porter Power. When it's turned on, you have pressure going through and it holds it. When it's open, pressure will not hold on either side. So when we go to load the head assembly or take the head assembly off on the gun, this is a newer style collar for you guys that are not familiar with it. The, the older style had a lever on the back that you would turn and the head assembly would come off. This acts more like a hose coupler that we're going to pull down on this and the head assembly will come out on it. So we want to make sure that the lever is up. Hold the assembly before you release the ring because it is spring loaded and we're just going to pull down on that and the head assembly will come out. If you don't keep this lever up, it's not going to happen every time that you don't have it up, but eventually you have a very good chance of blowing out the seal in the bottom of the cylinder. This is part of this relieving pressure on either side of the pump or the cylinder. So when we go to put it back on, we want to do the same thing. Lever up, pull down the coupler, put the head assembly in, listen to it click, and make sure that the ring clicks back up all the way in the top also. It's a much more simpler process, but if you don't hear that click going back up and you go to hit the trigger, possibility of popping the head off of the power unit. All right, guys, that wraps up the Jag Land Rover Express 800 setup. As usual, if you have any questions, phone number's on the screen. Website is on the screen. Contact us for anything you need to know. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.